today I'm here with a new video and today it is the third video in my shroud week and yes I'm doing a theme week yet again. I just love to do these so today I am using the third palette that shroud came out with and that is the Orkana palette. This palette is a grungy dream and I did forget my intro didn't I? Do anybody care? I don't think so. But my name is Lisa, if you didn't know. <laughs> so this is like a grungy dream. I love this palette. It's so deep and it's so... It's such a cool palette. I haven't used it that much. I have no idea how many it looks like. Can I'm done with this? I will leave some videos up here. Um, but yeah, it looks like this. And today I'm going to do a halo eye. And I was swatched a little bit, and I know kind of what I want to do. Not 100% sure, but I'm 97% sure. So I think we just hop into this. So I'm doing a halo eye today, and I sometimes take a crease shade when I'm doing a halo eye, and sometimes I don't. But today I actually think I want something, because I'm using this shroud shade and enchantress as my halo and this shroud is really dark so i actually think that i will go in with relic in my crease that is kind of dark as well i try so i tap it off and then i go in I think this will work. This palette, I think it might can be a little bit hard for some people to play with because it's like all the shadows are really dark, but uh, it's maybe good as a complementary palette. And do I need to? Did that make any difference at all? I don't know. It feels like I'm a little bit dark on that side on my face. It still have to work. But for me that love grungy makeup, I don't care that it isn't any lighter shades and uh, you don't need to use a palette on its own, you can always complement with something else. I think that, or I know, that is more common for me now when I'm doing YouTube videos that I'm using only one palette at a time. So time for the halo. I will take shroud uh, on my outer and inner corners of my eye and then take Enchantress. And this palette, the shimmers are so pigmented, so I don't need any glitter glue. So we'll just start with the Shroud. And I take a smaller brush for this. Put it over here. And maybe I can try to succeed really good with Halo today. I don't know. Maybe I should try like a new shape of it. So if I do this a little bit like that. Then I'm going in here. And I think like the trick for an halo is take a smaller denser brush for doing this part. This feels like a lot of <laughs> A lot bigger halo than I usually do, and maybe that is good. Now I will try to do the same on this eye, and this I always have such problems with. And I have a different eye shape on both of my eye. This eye is a little bit more hooded than this eye, and I think this is maybe just a little bit more hooded. 
it's nothing like I think of a lot that I need to do different shapes but if they don't look exactly the same it usually doesn't like show that much so yeah and if you hear something it might be a cat because I'm home alone and both of the cats are here with me so far they are still but you never know with them so now I'm going in with the pink shimmer and this is such and do you see do you see like the pigmentation of this one it is insane I think the shimmers in this palette it's better than in the Divinity palette I haven't used the freaking bats more than once so I can't say anything about that yet the next video I will do in this week is going to be with its freaking bats and I'm going to do like a review on the whole brand in the end so maybe I have something to say about it then I'm going in with Shroud again And also I want to take it a little bit more up here. I don't know like if the shade I took in my crease did that much, but it's there. It doesn't matter. But maybe actually I will go in with it a little bit. So I take the shade I took in my crease, dip my brush slightly lightly slightly lightly and just go over here again and i think it's never like too late if you're doing a halo eye to go in with a crease color if you see when you've done the halo that you need something in your crease it's not hard to fix it afterwards okay i just want to go in with shroud a little bit more the blue one out here and i have a lot of fallouts i love this combo this is a really cool combo this wasn't what i planned at first when i did swatch some of the colors and then <laughs> right before i sit down to do the look i was like okay i'm going to swatch these two next to each other the blue one and the pink one and i'm like yeah that is my look and sure is. I'm just going in with the brush that I took, the dark blue, the shroud shade. And just do a little bit like this with no additional shadow on, but just to blend. I love this eye. I love it so much. So I will take away the crazy amount of fallouts that I have. I'm also going to fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes. And I actually think that I will try to do like the halo under eyes as well. I usually don't do that, but I think I will do it today. So I decided for my lower lash that I want to do the same kind of halo. So I'm going in first with did paint on myself first with shroud try to do it really lightly because i don't want to be super dark under my whole eye <laughs> so i go in with this just a little bit i don't want it to be too much and i do a little bit like this just to see how far I want to go so then I take the pink shimmer and I'm guessing that this will stick but I'm just tapping it off to be sure that I don't get any fallouts and like press it on more than swipe it on did it 
works. Okay, I'm just so unpleased with the situation in here. I don't know what to do. Maybe I just... Okay, this is so stupid, but I do it. I take the dark blue. And then I'm going to take some lighter blue shimmer that I have in my collection and put it over it and hopefully that will work good. So just for my inner corner highlight I will go in with this Ultimist from KVD I guess they are called and I take the blue sapphire this one and just... Should I take pink opal? Yeah, maybe I take this one. Pink opal. Take it on my little pinky. And then just put it over there. So I will put something in my watch line. I think I will take a pink. I think that will look cool, like a really bright pink. Put on my mascara and use a lipstick. Okay, so for my watch line, I took Insomniac from ColourPop, a really neon pink. And for my lips, I took Unspoken from Nabla. No, Narcotic. I was thinking about this or <laughs> Unspoken. A dark red one but I took narcotic that is a deep deep blue almost a black and yeah this is the finished look I really love how grungy it is and I love this pink in my halo I think it looks amazing I am so so pleased and I'm so happy that I swatched these two shroud and enchantress next to each other and really saw like this is going to be an amazing look. I'm so happy for that. So yeah, I love this look. And um, this palette, it is so amazing to work with. The shimmers are just outstanding. And tomorrow, why do I say that still? I don't know, but I think it will be tomorrow. I will play with the It's Freaking Bats palette. I can show you that one. I'm just going to take it, I put it here. So, it's uh, this one. And I still really don't know what I want to do. But I'm sure that it's going to be an amazing look. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!